Hello folks and welcome to our screencast. In this video I'm just going to give you a quick tip for any iTunes users out there. It's not something that might be useful for everyone but a few of you might find it useful and you might not know this. So basically what is the scenario is you've got your iTunes library full of your music, organised how you like and so on. Um, but you might also have someone in, in your household who might have just got a new iPod or got an iPod for the first time or an iPhone and they, they want to sync some of their own music to their um, iPod but perhaps they're not one who uses the computer a lot or they don't really ever use it so you might want to do it for them but you don't really want to start importing their music into your iTunes because it'll get uh, mixed up with your stuff and we don't really want to be touching our own libraries do we, we want to keep it um, how we just like it so what you can do is if you just go close iTunes down then when you click on iTunes, hold down Alt as well, keep it holding down, and you get the opportunity to create a library. So you create it, call it whatever you want. So iTunes other album, I'll call it, I mean library, I'll call it. Like so. Save it. Well, I've got a brand new library, can do what I want with it, put my own, any music in, into it, it doesn't affect my other library. So, close it down again. Now, to um, swap libraries, all you do is go Alt again, click on it, and you can, from there, you choose a library. As you can see, that's my library. The second library I've just created and my library what I use for my mum's iPod she's not very um, computer literate she doesn't really ever use the computer at all so I normally put her music on her iPod for her but obviously I don't want to mix it up with my stuff so I've made her her own library so I can just choose that as you can see it's got some music she likes so quick tip but not a lot of people know it pretty useful so all you have to do is remember is just press Alt click and from there you can create as many libraries as you want or you can choose and you can obviously choose libraries from there so quick tip but pretty useful for a lot of you I'm sure so yeah thanks for watching this video hopefully you've enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later